folks, it's Emily again. Welcome back. Our activity today, we're going to be talking about how to plant seeds in your garden, or seedlings as it were. So again, now, April, beginning of April, middle of April almost, is an appropriate time to be planting wherever you have space. That might be in your backyard, that might be on your roof, on your porch, in a window, under a light, whatever works for you in your space, I encourage you to grow with me on the farm. So the first step is picking what you're gonna grow and then learning how to grow it. So I have my seeds. These are usually kept in the shade. Keep your seeds in a cool and shaded place, but I've brought them out to play with today. So in this little Tupperware, I've organized all my seeds and I get to decide what we're gonna plant. So something um, like brassicas, which would be Brussels sprouts or kale, things like that, I will have planted earlier in the season something like tatsoi, and they will have been growing in the greenhouse for several months at this point. So here's an example of some little friends that I seeded about a month ago. Actually, I can tell you because they have tags. So the lettuce was seeded on February 29th, as was the tatsoi. That's pretty fun. And y'all, I'm pretty proud of myself for this row of plants. They look pretty sweet. These are not what we're planting today. Today we're going to be doing our Brussels sprouts, which are already over by our garden bed, as well as onions, which are also over by our garden bed. Both started in sometime in February, and we can look at the date there. So those would be things that you would start in a greenhouse and then transplant, transplant being the key word. Other things you might direct sow. So I'm going to come into my really fancy, fancy box of seeds, which is kind of the most exciting thing that I have on the farm here, and I'm going to go into my category of radishes. Radishes are really fun to grow because they're super quick and they're really rewarding. They're tasty and beautiful. So I've got a bunch of different types of radishes. Today we're going to be growing some Easter egg radishes, seasonally appropriate for this week. And these are beautiful. They're called Easter eggs because they come in all different colors, like reds and pinks and whites. And Anthony won't grow them on the farm, so we get to grow them here in the youth garden, which is pretty fun. So these guys, you can look at your seed packet and try to figure out how you're gonna grow them. And there's a lot of really important information on seed packets. You'll notice every company's seed packet, shout out to a lot of great seed companies here. Thanks Territorial, thanks Baker Creek, thanks uh, Kitazawa Seeds, thanks Deep Harvest, thanks Johnny's. Um, they all look a little different and they're all gonna have a little bit of different information on them. But some key things you wanna know is how many days is it gonna take to grow? So if you look on this seed packet, we can find how many days is the radish gonna take to grow? In this case, Easter egg radishes take 30 days. I can also look at the germ. I can look at um, that's how, like how many of them are going to sprout or germinate. I can look on the back and find out all these complicated instructions of how far apart to sow them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm gonna teach you a shortcut for that in a little bit. But the main thing I'm looking at is um, how long they're gonna take to grow. And then I can look up, is it appropriate to be direct seeding or transplanting? Again, transplanting, things we start in the greenhouse direct sow, things that we sow right into the garden when it's warm enough. And remember, warm enough, not outside, but the soil temperature. So you can be sneaky with that with the thermometer, etc, etc. Anyway, so today we're going to be planting onions, Brussels sprouts all the way over at the garden bed, radishes, and this is a really special one. These are calendula seeds. Calendula is this beautiful uh, orange and yellow ooh, and red flower. They're about this big and they're really medicinal. They're excellent. You can make salve out of them. I don't know about you, but all this hand washing has gotten my hands pretty dry. So I like my calendula salve at home. But these seeds are also my favorites, not only because how beautiful medicinal the flowers are, but look at these seeds. They look like tiny dragons. So we're gonna be planting these alongside. You might be asking yourself, Emily, why are you planting four different things in one of your small garden beds? And some of you might know the answer to that, but to spell it out, it's because I want to protect my seeds and grow as many different things as I can. For example, onions keep away the pests. So my very, very tasty Brussels sprouts, the bugs and the bunnies might try to come and attack them and eat them, which is okay. I'm sharing my food. We are growing for a community, even if it's rabbits. But I want to save them for the people. So I'm going to put onions and things like uh, marigolds would be really good. We are planting calendula today but other things bordering um, and around so that they can work symbiotically and help each other grow and be safe. So, oh, I forgot to mention, sometimes seeds like peas, you wanna soak in water to activate them. So these little pea seeds, they're sugary and snap peas, AKA the best peas around, we'll plant those tomorrow after they've had a chance to soak. 
just another example. So we're gonna uh, walk over to the garden bed and take our Easter egg radish seeds, our calendula, and go meet our seedlings and get going. So follow me as we walk through our wonderfully in progress youth garden. Notice I still got some cover crop going on. And here's our garden bed. So I already prepped it for us in advance. I uh, got all the weeds out. I incorporated some compost and um, flattened it out. And with help from my lovely friend Becca, we planted most of these Brussels sprouts. Look how cute they are. And these Brussels sprouts were actually planted in the greenhouse in February from a fantastic group of youth from Alaska who came on a field trip. So shout out to our folks up there. I'm gonna plant the last two ones for you. I have a hori hori, you can use what you got. I'm gonna create a little hole for it. Tuck it in, give it a little thank you. We'll see y'all soon. And notice how I'm planting them so it's just to the edge. I don't want to bury them too deep. I don't want to bury them too shallow. And we'll get ready for them. So the second thing we said we were going to plant was these onions. And actually I've lied to you, they're not onions. They're scallions, but also part of the allium family, so close enough. And I'm gonna just show you a couple little examples. Check these babies out. Look how cool their little root systems are. So we're gonna plant our onions, like I was telling you, around the edges of the bed. Wishing them a happy good night. I guess it's the middle of the day, but. And then, pretend that those are all the way around the border. So what is the next thing we have to plant? Radishes. Radish seeds are super cool. Can you tell that I like all seeds in general? I keep saying that they're all my favorites. I like these ones because they look like little, like old men bald heads to me. <laughs> uh, and you'll see that they're all a little different and that's okay, seeds all look a little different. If you have a super wonky one, like this friend here might not grow, so I might not plant that guy, but I'm gonna plant a couple. I'm gonna share with you the shortcut I was telling you. So remember the back of our seed packet had all this information about how deep you should plant them, how far apart, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's another way to do it, and it's called the secret of the seed. Oh. And I learned it from my friend Jen over at Islandwood. And she shared with me that you take one seed and you plant at the depth of three widths of the seed. So if a seed is, let's say, as round as my fingernail, I would plant it three fingernails deep. And that's the secret of the seed. So I'm looking at my little radish seed right here and I can line up three and you can see, oh, that's actually just about my fingernail, huh? How convenient is that? So I'm gonna plant them as deep as my fingernail. And I've decided that I'm gonna plant a row of radishes in between each of my rows of Brussels sprouts because I can. So I'm gonna take this little thing and I'm just gonna do the first one for you. And I'm gonna sprinkle them and do them just a little bit of ways apart. Remember, these are in 30 days about, which is really not that long, just about a month long. We're gonna have these gorgeous Easter egg radishes of all different colors that we can share with our community. Dee 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 dee. Tiny radish seeds. Great. And now that I've planted them in, I can carefully, once I put in the rest of mine back, push the rest of mine back. I'm gonna carefully tuck them in, remembering where I planted them. But how am I going to remember where I plant them? If you said, make a sign, Emily, you are totally correct. And because at 21 Acres, we like to recycle things. These are some uh, old, like, window, uh, what's the word? Window shade, window shade panels that my friend Jess over in the Native Nursery gave me. So on here, I'm going to write, what did we plant? Easter egg radishes. Easter egg radish. Is there something else that would be important to put on there? Why yes, it is the date. So I'm going to put today's date, which is uh, the 10th, the 10th, four, 10. So that way I can count 30 days in advance 
which is going to be approximately mid-May. So I'm going to put these at the head of my radish line and I'll know exactly where to water. The last seed we're going to plant today is calendula. Now, I think flowers belong everywhere, so I prefer to use a really loose method for my flowers, which I like to call the flower fairy method. So we've carefully grown our onions and our Brussels sprouts and put them in very thoughtfully and our Easter egg radishes have gone in their secret of the seed. And for the calendula, <laughs> I'm just gonna spread it around and see what happens. Oh, I forgot to tell you, these are seeds that I see it saved myself with the help of some youth over the summer. So these were calendula that already grew in our garden last year. Um, and we can talk all about seed saving another time because what a glorious, glorious thing. But um, just know that these came right from our garden. So we're gonna plant our little calendula dragon fairies and see what happens. Awesome. So remember at home, you can save seeds from your garden. You can purchase seeds from the hardware store, from a garden store online somewhere. You can email me and ask how to get seeds and uh, plant them wherever, even if you're just flower fairing it around your neighborhood. Um, and we'll see what happens. So thanks for joining me.